Welcome to Mr. Veggie Dad's Adventures! Here we are, closing weekend. Closing weekend. And it's also Pirate Week. Yeah, Pirate Weekend. <laughs> Jeez. Are you excited? Yes, I love pirates. It's gonna pirates be, are cool. They are cool. <laughs> it's gonna be toasty, it's gonna be hot, but we're excited and uh, I'm gonna make these next two videos uh, long ones because those are more enjoyable. So let's have a good time. Pirate Weekend and we're gonna cry tomorrow night because, yeah. you know, closing weekend. But, all right. Let's go. Fortunately, today may not be set aside for festivities only. For today is the day we have decided to come together and vote to see who shall next represent us in the House of Parliament. Indeed, it is the most crucial decision that we, of appropriate status, must make. Let's, of course, Davishai become the bearer of course. The Crown wishes not to pay. Uh, I, Sheriff Blackthorn, it may be true that Parliament has moved the responsibility of taking care of the poor from the church to the local government, but it is only a small burden to take care of one's own, eh? Yeah? It should not fall to us to take care of those who cannot take care of themselves, which is why we should send a man who understands that all men have the potential to rise to greatness if they are willing to take the merchant class does grow with such velocities. <laughs> Indeed, which is why we must choose someone with the best interest of the people and the purses at heart. If only, if only we had a proper nomination today. I said if only we had a... I nominate Sheriff Blackthorn. <laughs> What a surprise! <laughs> the people! The people have spoken! And I, William Blackthorn, must listen. I graciously accept this nomination. And, and, and with no other nominated at this point, mayhap we can take care of this business ere the Queen arrives. After all, I have the voting role here. <laughs> Sheriff Blackthorn, think you that you may be taking, putting the cart before the horse, the, the law? clearly states that the rule, which holds the names of all those eligible to vote, shall be called at 4 and 30 at the Barleycorn Tavern. Then the votes will be counted. Very well hey. then, at 4 and 30, I will be sworn in as a representative <laughs> of the people to make sure our finances are well taken care of. But what of investments in the arts? Oh. Of the people of England themselves? Our voice in Parliament should represent not only the landed, but all the good citizens of Staffordshire. Aye. Aye! Even those meant to be taken care of by those poor laws. Well, with, with such a voice, our influence and culture may better spread across the horizons and our people prosper. So, what say you? Who mightst thou have in mind? The Make me not laugh. I could certainly do better than you, Sheriff Blackthorn. Not, oh, even, oh, yeah. uh, not even Sheriff of Fortnite. They're only attempting to puppeteer the boat. You, yeah, you are not, not, let me speak, you are nominated and yet also hold the role of eligible voters? With plans to only call those to the boat who already support you, I presume. Oh, no, no. I was rightfully appointed as Sheriff. And as such, it is my duty to protect the role in anticipation of today's vote. Rightfully appointed? Now how many pounds does it cost to make it a rightful appointment, Crater? Watch thy tongue, woman! Pray peace, both of you! Mr. Higgins, these are serious accusations. But I do see thy point, that Staffordshire's sole nominee is also the one responsible for carrying the role. Chef Blackthorn, speak true. Do you intend to meddle with the rule in any way this day? Why, Sir William, such accusations wound me to the core. I have nothing but the best interest of the people at heart. You have nothing but your purse and ambitions at heart. Oh. But people of Staffordshire deserve a better representative. 
representative than this cock laurel that breeds oh. before us. Member of Parliament, a simple washerwoman representing us. Tis surely without precedent, but if the people were to call for it, with enough of a margin, it would be my duty to share the results. I would serve as far better representative to the people than you, Blackthorn. <laughs> I could stomach this speech as an arrogant, errant girl, filled with too much energy, but this. This mockery, this flagrant disregard for our hard-won voice in our country's government? Let the people speak, Blackthorn, and what shall your response be? More tricks and deceit? Nay, this! Appropriate candidates to stay. We shall not settle these disputes with violence. Chef Blackthorn, thy actions today have aroused suspicions and will be investigated. And Mistress Higgins, all thy nomination is strange for all these times. I shall not dismiss it out of hand. Let us instead continue these discussions at a later time. Say, one of the clock after the game at the Maple. The Queen arrives. By God's grace, first Queen of the Britons to bear that name. Queen of England, Ireland, France, Wales, and the Virginias. Most worthy Empress of the High Seas, from the Orkney Isles to the Mountains Pyrenees. Defender of the true Asian and Catholic faith. Your sovereign is before you. God. Save the Queen! God save the Queen! Oh, and God save all of thee! Pray be at thy ease! Pray be at thy ease! Such a lively welcome we have come to expect from the good folk of Stafford! Now what discussions have we come betwixt this morn? Your Majesty, on behalf of my family, let me be the first to welcome you here to our town. But I must admit, that your arrival doth overlap with our town's election for parliamentary representation. I see. Yeah. Know all that we do call upon Parliament to enact taxes and letters patent for the good of the people of England. Indeed, some gentlemen of my Privy Council do set forth the agenda. It is a vital function of the realm. All the more reason to make sure that only those worthy of the honour are called on by the roll to register their vote. And for any elected member to be a true and fair representative of the people they're called to speak for. Oh. It is heartening to hear the good people of Stafford so careful of their political representation. Indeed, it is the sacred duty that all those eligible do vote in their local elections, lest they forfeit their voice in government. Perhaps I shall attend the calling of the roll this day. Why, that would be marvellous. Afford the vote, however, pray tell what festivities hast thou prepared for us? Your Grace, we have called in entertainers from far and wide, such as Circus Stella and Dash Rippington's Dangerously Stupid Show, it is, <laughs> to amaze you with their talents. Oh, marvellous. And as we know you enjoy, we have contracted with many minstrels to play favoured melodies on both the stage and in the streets, such as at the Maple, where the town folk shall be teaching dancing throughout the day. Come, join them. Oh. We have also opened a new tavern, the Barley Sprout, to serve the most daring of drinks, while still maintaining and repairing the tavern you love, the Barley Corn, filled with drinks and performances to enjoy. Oh. Ah. Delight in food from far and wide, such as the far-off Mediterranean, oh. or in the New World. Oh. But I do understand that one's palate might be more suited to proper English fare fit for a queen. Oh, how marvellous! Let us enjoy these festivities together. Friends, all those gathered, I welcome thee 
to the fair. Join us. Ah, straight through the pub. Fantastic. The workshop is great. You can smell from outside. It's like walked by a coffee shop. Yeah, that's really nice. For the colleagues and for friends, for ourselves. Ourselves. Oh, I signed aboard a lively bark, the hot spark, and the paralytical drunk on my advance. No, I'll no. try to lay back, back. take off the slack, take off the slack, and take a turn and around the cast and eat the ball. We know all about ship stations, boys, be handy, we're handy. We're bound for bells for rise around the horn. I was on the corridor deck, but first I saw them. Saw Such them. an ugly lot I never did see before. Oh, oh, oh. There was a bum and a step from every quarter. Oh, oh, oh. And it made me poor, a heart for sick and sore. That's a China! Head to lay back, head to lay back. Hang up the slack, hang up the slack. Take a turn around the cast and leave a ball. Keep them all about the ship station, boys, be handy. We're handy. We're bound for bell of a rise around the hall. Skipper and ship to Shanghai grew a Belgian. Belgian. A tiny little country north of France. Oh, 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 oh. Not a man who oh. spoke a word of English. English. But they answered to the name of a once advance. Yes, I'll oh, pedal it back. Pedal it Take off the slack. Take off the slack. I'll take a turn around the cast and eat the ball. Eat the ball. About the ship station, boys, be handy. We're handy. We're bound for bell for ice around the horn. Now some of the fellas had.
Staffordshire, where fun is to be had and merriment, and maybe a not a small amount of mead drinking. A lot amount, a lot amount. Yay, a lot amount. Cheers to Cheers that. Cheers to that. Dry, still sweet, just not as. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you gonna open that to drink it? Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh my. Which one was that one? Thin Rare Spirit. Okay. Then this is the wildflower. Okay. The traditional wildflower. It's sweeter than the first. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's what put us in business 20 years ago. Oh, that is super sweet. You're right, yeah. You think that's sweet? Wait till the butterscotch. Yeah, that's the one I've been. <laughs> I was told from so across sweet, the right? festival. It will smack this. you in the face and make you as bitch. It's so sweet. Sorry. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which one do you like the best? I'm going to need a bottle of butterscotch. I think that's the way. Yeah. I'm going to have to pick it up a little bit later so I'm not carrying it around with me. You can? Yes, Okay. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
Show me your side quest again. We have plenty of them. We've got this one is high five an elf. High five an elf. Ten whole experience. Oh, Ten XP. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's a wee bit hot and dusty out here. Yeah. See? Yeah. 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 Good. But we're all good. We are living. It is fun. Yeah. Very good. Very good. You sent me Chickens that are as well behaved as you. <laughs> you were precious. You were so precious. He's a good baby. You are a good baby. birds people get them because they think they're great pets they're not pets they're companion mm -hmm. animals these you. are like a child that will never grow up and leave your house uh, your entire way of life changes once you bring one of these guys home. yeah yeah, yeah I've, I've heard of you yeah oh my goodness. I guess so many people think oh my god I want a pet bird no you don't <laughs> they're still very much a wild animal they are not domesticated oh yeah not like dogs and cats uh, they're very messy, very loud, and very wasteful. But hey, we love them, and that's why we do what we do. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way. I love me some birds. They can destroy the whole house, and I was like, I don't know that. <laughs> and that's Rocky. He'll be eight years old in August. He's still a baby. All right, bitch. Come here, Oh, I know you like Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's a little overweight. But she's so cute. Just a little bit. Love chickens too. <laughs> all right, she says all kinds of things like cracker and whatever. <laughs> Hello. Oh, did you hear his camera? <laughs> she did. She does the shutter noises too. Oh, that could have been the GoPro. Yeah, that's why I asked. Property every now and then. <laughs> There's a reason we don't do so. Many. 
around a couple times and be like, oh wait, by the way, me! <laughs> I can hardly see it. <laughs> it says nine seconds. It says video. Video. Video? Yes, it's a video selfie. Hi. 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 Welcome to the Virginia Renaissance. You gave me a rose. I gave her a rose. <sighs> now I smell less sweaty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. seconds <laughs> two two three four five six count with me two three four count with me one two three four I don't know. <laughs> Williams need to put 
to pretend to be a candidate at all. Well, the law is not currently before Mr. Zaghi's no nation politics. Well, it would be fair to say that if the people voted for her instead of you, that's all, it would be a dog. Speak they shall, and the time is nigh, and I call the names of all those eligible to vote. Phyllis, Sydney, well, it might as well be blank. Blank? Not a single name on your list? But thou hadst the role since this morning. Twas thy duty to collect all the names for Parliament. I was going to explain to each one how my stance would and then thy cracking on did cause thee to forget to have them write their names at all? Tis a clear example of what his political career would have been. No, no, it's not too late. It's not too late to have a vote of the original voters here and now. As a duly appointed officer of the Crown, the only one I recognize as an eligible voter is myself. And so, I would cast the only vote. I can't! You cannot let him do this! Well, he is in accordance with the law, if not moral standing. All those who wish to vote for William Bradford for Covenant signify their own my God. Very close. The first thing I'd like to make perfectly clear, now that I am a parliamentarian, real change is going to happen in this country. I just now drafted a bill in my head to present the for parliament that will make everything legal.
Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Thank you very much for having us. God save the Queen. Yas Queen. We're gonna sing you a song about all the pirates. You can guess what the song is called. There's a part during this where we sing, I am friends with all the pirates. We need you to yell back to us, all the pirates. Let's try it. I am friends with all the pirates. 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 You got it. I met a voodoo queen in New Orleans and I fell in love Said, Madam, please, my days are long You know my times, they are tough Marry me, we'll go to sea I'll have the finest I can be Said, I'll show you, I am a queen And if you want to marry me, you better get to work Swim team stayed ahead of them all. Had a sarcastic sense of humor and a wit not to be beat. He's best known by the name of Edward Teach. So Edward Teach had a plan for theatrics. He liked to hide smoke and fuses in his hair. With that big old bushy beard, he had a figure to be feared. He earned the sober cake we know him by. Blackbeard! Blackbeard. Lived with numbers on his days. He said, by God, that devil's name's Francois Lanais. Francois Lanais then picked a fight with a tribal war chief. He took his lunch, then refused to give it back. He was really mean to the natives, and they didn't get along. They put mayonnaise on Lanais, and now he's gone. He got bored and started pirating, but he didn't do that well. He got injured, gave his captaincy to Blackbeard for a while. Who's a better boss than Bonnet by a mile? Better with a friend than on his own. Oh, Bonnet was all bundles and his crew left him alone. He got a part and changed his name just to go pirating again. He got cut, but lost speed and tried to buy a rock.
was day one of two. One of two. Closing day. Two, two of two is gonna be. Yeah, oh, we need to go this way. Not too many emotions yet, but the tea, there were there were still tears for today, so tomorrow will be. For uh, anyone who's not coming tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow there will be many, many tears to be shed, so we love this little fair. We really do. Tomorrow's the last day. Yeah. <sighs> Soak it in. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn those notifications on, and stay tuned for another wild video from Mr. Veggie Dad's Adventures. Mr. Veggie Dad Production.